welcome to Hikate's Crossing. I'm Paula and welcome to my Thursday Ramble. Okay, I want to start with saying thank you to all the beautiful souls out there that share their wisdom, their knowledge, um, their decks, their spaces, their life in general, you know, a little bit about who they are as an individual. Um, I just want to say there are so many beautiful people out there on YouTube who actually share fantastic, helpful tips and suggestions that enhance our learning in so many ways. There's so many people who spend hours um, giving unconditionally um, to us, so I think we're very, very lucky. So. I want to say thank you to all the beautiful souls out there, people like um, Heather Carter, there is Indigo Moon Woman, there's Donna from Ozark Oracle, Jen Balance Tarot, Lisa from Support Tarot, um, Nat of course, and she gives us so much um, thought provoking ideas and I just want to say that I've just had a really busy week with the new decks that have come in and I've been focusing on the um, Fool's, tar the Fool's um, Journey Challenge that's been quite good over the last five weeks or five episodes I've done um, Wednesday Healing, I've um, done some crystal healing and stuff like that but also um, being the last couple of weeks have also focused on the reincarnation with the book which I thought has been very very interesting so I'll continue sharing a little bit more information with that over time just a little bit at a time just enough to sort of get your thinking reflection and meditation I've also of course been doing my Tuesday look through with the decks um, decks that I've had but also the new decks that have come through so they're sort of coming through. So next week, look out for the Māori Oracle, which will be interesting. And then the week after that will be the Wanda Mother um, Inspirational Deck, which you'll have already seen a few pictures if you've noticed on Instagram and stuff like that. You'll have already noticed a few a few pictures already. Um, also with um, the Thursday Rambles and Intuitive Friday, of course, with... Um, with the reading for the weekend so look out for those if you want some a um, little message to help you with the weekend with reflection you know what do you need to focus on what's of value to your journey maybe the intuitive Friday messages might be something that might resonate with you so there's that as well also um, I just feel like there's just so much um, with the VRs they've been really interesting which court card are you um, there's just been some fantastic, fantastic information and thoughts and opinions shared. Um, also, I've been thinking about my Journey to the Crossroads Tarot that I created, the um, black paper with the pastels on it. And I sort of wanted to share, wait a minute, I'll just grab my folder. Here we go. Oh, trip over everything while I'm at it. Okay, just so that you can sort of see. Don't know if you can. Whoa! There we go. It's busted. I had a funny feeling I'm going to have to glue this back up. So I don't know if you can actually see with the sun. It might be a bit. Oof. I don't want to get it wrecked. I'm going to have to. So anyway, so I finally so I've created so I wanted to I've tried a few times and when you sort of doing things generally just on with some of the like photoscape and that like that the quality of the picture of the images aren't that great well anyway I'm 
fluffing around on YouTube, having a look at different people's websites and different some different ideas that different people have. And I came across a medium, Ashley Cunningham. And oh, she was great and explained how to improve the quality of your images so you can print them as cards on make playing cards. And I'm like, oh my gee, I cannot believe it. So I had a go and I at first, first thing I did was I chose some of my artwork that was quite good quality and I decided to create a oracle deck, a couple of oracle decks, so I did that, just with some ideas and some of my art, and just had a bit of fun with it, and then I decided to create a playing card set with my artwork, and with the playing card set, I grabbed a book, this one here, whoops, this book here, I grabbed this, and looked at the playing card, and find it again. Here we go. Fortune, I don't know if you can read. I just don't want to burn my book. You know, so this here, right? So I went through. I went through the book and looked at some keywords and added, excuse me, and added them to the playing card set. So that's coming exciting. So I have approximately, even though it's like two, it's actually about three, three decks coming. So that's going to be really exciting because what I did was with the, um, with one of the decks, I split it into sort of like two. So that's going to be really cool. So then, what I decided to do was go through and do my photo linen mand. So that I've got in my saved projects. And another um, something that I wanted done. So I've done that, another deck that I wanted. Uh, it's personal deck. It's not for using with customers and that because it's not my own art. So, But I have been given the permission to have it printed out, but it's not to be used for clients, even though I've mo modified it and changed it. It's about having some fun with it and developing until I get a chance to buy the actual deck. But anyway, so that's cool. And the other thing I've done is my Journey to the Crossroads Tarot and Crossroads Oracle in poker size. So it's about 90 cards. So 78 for the tarot and 12 cards for um, the oracle at the moment. So that's in my box and then I'll do the 24 oracle cards I will then do as a separate set again. So 12 of the cards that I've already done, I'll then do um, the 24. So it will give me some extras, but that doesn't matter. So that's what I've got coming. That's what I've got in my project saved. How exciting is that? But I will show you the Oracle and the playing card sets that are on their way. So I'm waiting for those. I'm also waiting for a few playing card sets that I can't wait to show you. One is Pink Floyd. And then a couple with sort of Night Skies, Constellations and things like that in them. So there's two of them as well. And I finally broke down and got... I decided I'd get a little mini universal weight deck just a little one just a sort of just one set for now because i'm not really a as you'll have noticed i don't use a lot of the rider weight smith um decks i actually don't have any uh, physically i used to but not anymore and i have got one on the computer that i can use but i haven't as late i've gone into more um some of the decks that are a bit different, um, a bit more unique, maybe don't quite, I don't know, just, just decks that are a bit different. Anyway, so that's the other thing I am waiting for. So I'm so excited to...
be able to show you some of my art as oracle decks. How exciting. And when I get finally get round to doing my tarot decks, I've got quite a few um, tarot and oracle decks that I've created with my digital art, which I do want to share. Actually, I have got one set that I did do. Here it is here. <coughs> now, a friend printed it out and laminated it for me. So, I don't know, I don't know if I've shown you any of this. It is on my, um, one of the first videos. So that's the Ace of Ear. Oh, I don't know if you... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, a bit of a cough. I think that incense gets to you after a while. It's sort of right in my face. Let me just move it. Move it to behind here. I think it sort of chokes you out. <coughs> so I'm hoping that you can actually see. Not sure. Maybe. Do I need to shut down? Let's see. What happens? going to be too dark or is it not too bad oh that's actually not too bad I don't think hopefully you can here we go that's the ear oh I put them all in order for some reason this thing ears all sort of in order okay so that's the earth so this is one of the first that's fire this is the first um it's water first tarot deck I actually created so that's the high priestess if you really want to see the deck have a look at some of the first videos that I actually created before I would show who I am here's the moon just to show you so this is a deck that I actually want that I actually created myself very abstract art I know but I find it's a gr I found it was a really great way for me to really understand and learn the cards because it was really only the words and the colors that enabled me to be able to read quite comfortably with it. So I thought it was quite cool. Here's my lover's card. I want to show you. Oh, that's my 13 transformation oh a little page of cups it's my youngest she's 13 now she dies every time she knows that I'm showing this deck there's the fool my son is hidden in there but you can't really see it um, here's my justice just thought I'd show you a few. Oh, here we go. Here's my hermit. Here's my temperance. And my hanged man. And my wheel of fortune. So just to show you really fast. So I have created one deck which a friend printed out for me. Um, I'm not quite sure what he actually printed it on. But being laminated is actually quite strong. It's actually not too bad. So that's been quite cool. It's a bit sharp. I should really get some, uh, get a corner thing to actually corner it. Whoops. So, yeah. So this is this is my goal is to get my decks printed. So yeah, really exciting. But there are some amazing um, DI, DIY tarot, oracle, linen bar deck tutorials that are actually online if you just want to make your own deck and cover them with contact paper or laminate them. You know, there are so many ways that you can just draw and do a deck for yourself. I think it's really exciting. It's a great way to learn. So, 
that's my Thursday ramble I wanted to talk about is the fact is I've been getting a few decks for myself and I suddenly thought ooh I'd like to get my own decks printed especially after seeing Ashley Cunningham now she's a medium I don't know if you know her so her page at all but she does beautiful messages coming through um, and um, just a beautiful soul really and I just found it really interesting the way she explained how to improve the quality of your images so that you can create your own deck so I thought that was really cool um, anyway so that's it for Thursday's ramble now oh my god the time disappears fast doesn't it Let's see what message. Oh, God, I lost, lost all my. Um, okay, let's start with the New Zealand Naturally Tarot. Let's see what cards we got from here. Okay, I'm going to choose three cards. One, two, three. Okay. So we've got transformation, we've got the death, which is about transformation and changes, things ending. We've got knight of Co uh, king of coins, reversed, which to me is like there's a lack of practicality to the situation maybe at the moment. Maybe you're feeling like you haven't got the practical knowledge or you don't, you don't know where to take the practical um, action. You don't know what action to actually take that's practical. And the world tells us that there's a, it is important at this time to maybe moving through a new cycle. I've got the New Zealand actually. So here you go. Here's the cards. It's your death card, transformation and changes through endings. Here you've got the King of Coins. I want to show you the right way up. Isn't he gorgeous? No, he's not black. Donna, he's not black. But anyway, so there you are. So that to me is like a lack of um, practicality or unsure about what um, what action needs to be done. You know, what, what do you need to physically do so that you can take care of the physical situation at this time? Here's the world card which talks, us, talks about nearing completion. There is like a sense of actually needing to say farewell, time to say goodbye, move through into new levels of awareness. Maybe you're given a new opportunity. Maybe you have a new opportunity which is giving you the transformations. Right now we've got the Fairy Oracle, the New Zealand Fairy Oracle. Okay, so let's have a look what three cards are we going to share at this time. One, two, three. And again, we've got, now we've got um, Lance, but it's upside down. So to me, that tells me that there's a lack of focus. And this one is about looking forward, looking to the future. So there's a lack of focus at the moment, which is stopping you from looking, afo looking forward. And here you've got, oh, this is interesting. This is about the um, sacral chakra. Now the sacral chakra is about your feelings. How do you feel about what's going on at the moment? Um, how is this? How are your feelings affecting your clarity with what's actually going on? So I think that your feelings could be affecting your focus, which is why you're feeling like there's a lack of focus. So again, you, you know, this sort of really ties in with the King of Coins. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Māori Oracle, which I'm going to use the book for because the messages are just too gorgeous. I just, whoops, I'm not happy with this box. Overall. Okay. So I'll grab that card that's there and put this back in. So I like to make sure I've got the cards. Okay, what message do we need to know We've got kina. Okay, this is a seafood. Okay, yeah. So let's have a look. You might need to do some research if you really want to know much more about kina, but I can tell you a little bit about it in here. 
So luckily they're in alphabetical order, otherwise it would be a nightmare. So let's have a look. K I N A. So Kenna taught is is what's called a sea egg, spring sea egg. Okay, it's a it's a natural it's a delicacy. Okay, Kenna is one of the many delicacies from the sea and is sought after throughout summer. But there is a small window of time when the kinna are at their best if you can wait. From the time of the blooming kofi, you can eat them, but you won't be nearly as nice as if you had waited until the bright red putakawa flowers have arrived. Even so, they are best taken at low tide on certain days between the day after the full moon and three days before the day of the dark moon. So this message here is everything has its time and place. Very interesting. So let's have a look at this overall. So we start with transformation. There is a lack of um, a lack of practicality, maybe a, a, a lack of experience in regards to um, being able to move forward on your journey. I feel like there's there's something stopping you from actually physically saying goodbye. There is a lack of focus here which is quite interesting, a lack of focus and looking forward. And it's about thinking about your feelings. And I think this is just a reminder that everything's in its place and time. So just have patience. Just remember, take a breath, find a way as you go through the transformations, you go through the changes, just be really gentle with yourself as you sort of find yourself back in... I want to say back in the right space of um, the opportunities that you're being offered, being able to really sort of take note of where you are and what's actually going on. So really interesting. I love this deck. So there we are. The New Zealand Naturally Tarot. New Zealand Fairy Oracle. And the Māori Oracle. So, yeah, I feel like there's a chance for you as you move, as you go through the transformations. Find I think feel like there's opportunities for you as you move ahead, as you go through the transformations and the changes. But I just think you've got to be really gentle with yourself. Bring your focus in. Get your clarity back into play. As you start looking ahead, okay, how do you actually feel about the whole situation? I think you need to really trust in your gut instinct, trust in your intuition about what's actually going on and know that everything will happen in its right time as everything falls into place. Okay, take care and blessed be. That's Hikate's Crossing with today's Thursday Rambling. <laughs>